Hello, Commanders, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous Journey Across the Galaxy. Today's topic of discussion will be dealing with drama, but before we get into that, let's go ahead and get through our intro for all the new faces. We are currently on our way out to Beagle Point, which is off in this direction. We traveled all the way from the bubble back here, where human civilization is, through the center of the galaxy, where Sagittarius A star, the supermassive black hole at the center of the galaxy is. Uh, be sure to go back and find that episode if you want to check that out, and and we're currently all the way over here on our way out to Beagle Point. So let's get ahead and get off the ground, get started on, uh, you know, trying to get where we're going. Oh, how convenient! We're able to, we're going to be able to just jump straight into uh, our next waypoint there. So we're done being mass locked. Let's get our frame shift drive charging, and we'll talk about the cycle of operations that we typically do as we go through that. And then once we're done with that, we'll go ahead and start talking about that drama I mentioned. I mean, I'm not going to specifically talk about the drama. I'm just going to talk about drama in general. But I had some drama, and it made me want to talk about it. So anyways, we're going to hop into the next system. And it's a fairly repetitious cycle, which is why I try to have a topic of discussion, because uh, it ends up being the same thing over and over again. And that's not very fun to just sit back and watch somebody do. So we're going to hop here into the system. We're going to pop the discovery scanner. And then as we're doing that, we're going to start doing some fuel scooping to get our fuel tanks topped off. We're able to scoop hydrogen off of the star to refill our fusion tanks. <clears throat> then after we get out of doing the uh, fuel scooping there, we're going to come to a stop. We're going to hop into our full spectrum system scanner. We're looking for Earth-like worlds, ammonia worlds, and water worlds. If you look down there at the bottom right of the screen, this is the area where you might find them. But since we don't have any of those, uh, we're going to go ahead and do a full-on scan of the system looking for biological signatures because the purpose of this journey, in addition to just making it out to Beagle Point, is to increase our exobiology rank up to uh, however high up into the elite ranks that we can get, as well as make as much money as we can so that we can hopefully buy a fleet carrier, get all all of our ships in one craft and head out into the black that way so we can use whatever ship we want to uh, do whatever tasks that we want to do. Um, I typically set a limit of 15, no more than 15 bodies in a system before I'll sit here and do this uh, scanning that we're doing now. Uh, because there, you know, you have to have some kind of a, uh, you have to have some kind of guidelines set up for what you're doing so that you can balance. Um, hold on, I'm trying to fine-tune the little frequency scanner there uh, you want you want to find a nice balance between stopping to look at things and you know actually making some distance on your journey so I don't think we're gonna find anything on that last planet there typically when you find biology you find at least uh, you know two or three planets that have at least one and the likelihood that that last one's gonna have it is very virtually zero so let's hop into the next system and we'll get started talking about our topic for today which is living with drama Man, um, I have to tell you, living, existing around other people is a surefire way to encounter drama. Uh, drama in your life is almost always the result of interactions with other people. Um, you might be stressed out by random things that happen to you, but there's a special sort of stress that comes from other people interjecting themselves into the way that you would like for things to be. Uh, I have to say, man, uh, I've experienced a lot of drama in my life, and, you know, drama is the result of dealing with people. Ah, we have a biological signature there. I'm typically looking for at least two biological signatures so we can make sure that we're not just going to go fly there and find some uh, low-level bacteria. So we're going to keep looking, but maybe we'll be able to find something interesting in this system. Keep scanning around, and we'll see what we can find, and we'll get back on topic. Uh, I, have to, I have to stop talking and kind of focus on this so that I can quickly and efficiently get these all scanned, and then we can get out of here. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to find anything particularly interesting in this system, so we're going to go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, I'm not going to go into uh, talking about any of my personal drama because, you know, that's just that's not appropriate. It's not appropriate to get on the Internet and start talking about, you know, things that irritate you about the people in your life and any of that kind of stuff. Uh, mostly just I, I try to keep these discussions mostly kind of generic because uh, I think they kind of apply to everybody. Um... I'm sure that you, if you're listening to me right now, you have some kind of drama that is stemming from somebody in your life because they have a different idea about how things should be than you do, whether it's a significant other that you might be living with or a friend who uh, thinks that, you know, 
things should be a certain way and you, maybe you disagree or you know people it, different people in your life feel like you should be should be behaving in a way that uh, lines up with the way that they think that your behavior should be there's any number of reasons why you might be experiencing drama um now when i talk about drama i'm not Ooh, there we go that's going to be fonticula though because it's an ice planet uh fonticula is not bad uh, I don't know that I necessarily want to stop for that, though. I really want to start... I really want... Like, Fonticula doesn't really... It's, it doesn't pay that much unless you find, like, a super rare species. And uh, to be perfectly honest with you, I don't want to go to an ice planet because I know that there's not going to be... Oops. Uh, we got a next planet. Uh, if, you, uh, if you need to select the next planet or the next system in your route, there is a keybind in the menu system for that. Go down into the targeting section, and there is a keybind for target next system and route. You can press, you can assign a key to that, and that's how you select the next system. Uh, I have people ask me that every time I mention it and I do it, so I just wanted to make sure I say it there so that you don't have to worry about a comment. Or you can, uh, please do leave a comment. It helps with engagement. Just say thank you for letting you know that or something like that. I, I just, I don't want to have to answer the question again. <laughs> um... So, you know, there, there's different kinds of negative interactions that result from, you know, experiencing things in your life. And, um, you know, they, they are basically two different categories. You have stress that comes from just the situations in your life that may be outside of your control. And then you have situations that are imposed upon you by the people around you. And unfortunately, neither situation is any, is something that you can ever, ever get away from unless uh, you become one of those hermits that go and move out to Alaska or something like that and decide to do a homestead and live by yourself. That's the only way you're going to get rid of drama in your life. Um, you know, and, and when I say when I the, when I use the word drama, I use that to mean the stress and irritation and, you know, negative the negative impacts that come from uh, dealing with other people. Um, situations, uh, bad situations, or what, whatever word you want to use for that, which is basically, you know, something happened and now there's a problem that has arisen and now you have to come up with a, a solution. That's a completely different thing from drama. Drama is something that is human related and you, oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Uh, something that is human, caused by humans, and is imposed upon you because of the wants or desires or just selfishness of other people. And unfortunately, uh, if you're going to live a life that's even remotely... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not even going to bother with those other two because there weren't any biological signatures. If you're going to live a life that is even, you know... <laughs> The thing is, is that we are by default, we're social creatures. Uh, we're herd, we're a herd animal. And we have this innate need to be around other people. It's not something that you have a choice in. Um, <clears throat> even those people who go and live by themselves occasionally need, they need to come in from the wild and, you know, it's, it's not just the resupply that they need. They, you know, they need a little bit of social interaction. We as human beings require, it's not an option. You must have some kind of social interaction with other people. Um, and even those, even those of us who are introverts still have a very strong biological need to, oh, I think that was it, uh, a very strong biological need to have some kind of social interaction with people. Uh, there's a reason why, you know, depression is such a strong thing in our society because we're slowly moving into a new era where people are uncomfortable being around each other because we've gotten used to having these devices and things that allow us to you know have a, a very uh what's the word i'm looking for surface level connection with people um but we don't develop any kind of real for the most part we don't develop deep real relationships with people because we're never around them deep physical uh, deep real relationships require physical presence for extended periods of time there's a reason why they say long distance relationships don't work and it's because you need to be in the physical presence of people to be able to have the kind of you know the, the kind of uh intimacy that we all crave 
Now, I'm not talking about, you know, necessarily romantic intimacy. There's all different kinds of intimacy. I don't think we're going to be able to find this planet, and I don't really want to spend a bunch of time searching around for it. So we're just going to go ahead and move on to the next system. Um, you know, uh, intimacy is not is not a sexual thing. It's not a it's not a romantic thing. Intimacy is just the ability to make yourself vulnerable to somebody. Now, that can be a friend, that can be a, a romantic interest, that can be family, that can be any number of different things. But um, we as human beings need, we need uh, at least a little bit of intimacy in our lives. Um, so, you know, the, that's one of the reasons why depression is, and, and it's one of the reasons why, you know, it's one of the reasons why YouTube has become such a major, uh, a major source of not not entertain not just entertainment but just 19 bodies. I think I think we'll go ahead and scan this system. Eh, nah, 19 is above the limit, and we're still early enough in the episode that I'm not worrying about it. Um, YouTube. There's a reason why podcasts and uh, you know. Like, I think that for this this particular series, I think some people who watch this series are watching it because they are lacking some kind... They are lacking some kind of um, real connection with the kind of people that they want to hang out with or spend time with. And YouTube is sort of a an imperfect substitute for that. You get on and you watch a podcast and it's, it's just people talking about stuff, but it makes you feel like you're part of the conversation. And it makes you feel like you're having, you know, in a limited way, some kind of... You know what? That's a... I think they up... Did they update the interface for the game? Because I, I just noticed that instead of... Um, Instead of seeing slow down, I'm now seeing gravity well. Huh. I just noticed. I saw that. I, I saw that in the last episode, but it didn't. It didn't register in my brain that that was something that had changed. Because it used to say slow down, indicating that you were being slowed down by a gravity well. But now I'm seeing gravity well when I go when I go near big bodies like that. So that's kind of cool. I didn't notice that they had changed that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you had noticed that change or if you saw that in the change log or something like that. Is that something that... Yeah, gravity well. Okay, uh, that's different. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, oh, we'll stop and scan this system. That's a perfect number of bodies to scan. Uh, so what was I saying? Uh, podcasts and... All right. So I think one of the reasons why this particular series is doing as well as it is is obviously it's Elite Dangerous, so it's going to attack... It's going to attract attention, which, you know, is going to bring people... is going to bring views in. But I have noticed that the watch time for the for these videos tends to be relatively decent. And I think it's because I spend my time kind of just babbling and talking and, you, you know making you guys feel like I'm individually talking to you as a person. Now, obviously, I can't actually do that because, you know, it's the internet it doesn't, and it's YouTube. It doesn't really work that way. But I think we all find content that makes us feel like the presenter is talking to us individually. It makes us feel like we're being included in the process. And especially, you know, especially if the person presenting responds to comments and things like that. I try to make sure I respond to as many comments as I can. Unless you're being a jerk and then I, you, if, if you get a little period as a, as a response to me, it's because you, you left me a negative comment and I'm not wasting my time on that stuff but uh at, at least for you know especially people who are uh are users that i recognize who leave comments on a regular basis or if you're a subscriber or especially if you're a member i try to go out of, i try to go out of my way to make sure i respond to comments um you know and i'll keep doing that uh until and if my channel gets big enough that managing all those comments becomes unreasonable but uh you know i think channel creators who make you feel like you're having a dis like they're they're having a discussion with you makes you want to sit and listen it's because and, and the reason that is is because we all have that need to have that kind of intimate contact with people uh, and now remember I, like I, I keep saying the word intimate but that's not the way that it, it the word intimacy does not necessarily mean the same the same way that a lot of people try to you know use that word we tend to use that word for you know romance but it's not it's 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 a it's a closeness that we have with people that we've spent enough time with to, you know, ha have that uh, trust. 
Uh, I would scan the system, but there's too many, and there's 15, there's too many bodies, and they're around the star, and I just don't really deal with it. So we'll continue on. Like I said, we're, we're, I'm at the point now, especially if you watch the last episode, the last few episodes. Uh, some of these episodes are just going to be mostly jumping and trying to get on with this, get on with the journey, because we're like 75, over 75 percent of the way there, I think, at this point, and I'm kind of ready to find out how much money we made. Uh, so, you know, it's just. Uh, we all have a need. I know I went off on a tangent, but it is related to the topic of drama and what I'm talking about. We all have a need to have interactions with people. We have a need to have people in our lives because it's just the way that we're wired. We're a herd animal and we're designed. If you know, if if you're religious, you believe that we're designed, and if you're not religious, you believe that we have evolved to become very much dependent upon each other because that's just the way that you know that's just the way that we are and anybody who tries to say that they don't need other people they don't they're they've deluded themselves into a lie we all need somebody you may not need a large oh that's cool biological we're, we're not late enough in the episode yet that i'm willing to go after one but after the 20 minute mark if we find a single biology planet we'll go ahead and stop and uh, take a peek at it all right um we all need at least one person in our lives that we can trust and that we can spend that, that spends time with us and a significant enough amount of time that you can develop a, a sense of intimacy with them. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. It can just be a best friend. It can be a family member. It can be anybody. Um, it can be any kind of relationship. But we all need at least one relationship like that. It's not a choice. You you need it. If you're missing something in your life, it's because you don't have that kind of a relation. You don't have at least one of that kind of relationship in your life. Um, human beings cannot be happy, cannot be con truly content, unless you have some kind of interaction like that. Um, so the reason I bring all of that up is is that the unfortunate the, the the other side of that coin is the fact that those is that anybody you bring into your life is 100% I don't care who they are what kind of relationship it is they are gonna bring you drama one way or another <laughs> you're going to deal with drama it's not a choice um, we as human beings have this really annoying tendency to have a very hard time seeing another person's point of view and most of the time we see things the way we see we see things or we see the world the way we want to see it and we think it should be the way we want it to be and we think that the people around us should behave in a way that makes sense to us rather than accepting them the way they are and learning to adjust our expectations to who they are now does that mean that we should uh, accept all behavior well of course not if they're violent or if they're just complete jerks or you know there's a lot of behavior that's just completely unacceptable i don't mean that you should just lay down for people like that but my point is is that if you have somebody in your life and for the most part you know for the most part they behave in a way that is somebody you would want to be around and they have a few things that just you know kind of get on your nerves well that's where you that's where you have to start saying well i need to start accepting this person for who they are because for the most part they're a good person and they just have these couple of little these couple of things that just I wish they would change it, but they're not going to. Because here's the thing I've learned after many, many years: people don't change. <laughs> they're not. They're like they. They can make a. They can make small adjustments, but especially the older you get, once you become who you who it is that you're going to be for your life. Once you get past like 25, 30, something like you, you are who you're going to be. And outside of some kind of insane crazy event that just comes along and wipes you out and forces you to completely reevaluate everything about yourself you're the person that you're going to be and expecting somebody to make major changes because you don't like how they be how they are is one of the more unreasonable things that we do to each other uh, the, the, it's much easier for me to learn to just accept the fact that this person behaves in this way in this situation because that's just how they are than it is to expect them to go through all of this effort to try to change it 
you know, it's much harder for people to change the things about themselves that other people don't like than it is for other people to just say, hey, man, you know, it's not really that important. It's not that important of a thing, and I'm making much bigger a much bigger deal out of it than it really needs to be. And how much of our drama is caused not by people behaving in a way that, you know, some people don't like, but by people just not learning to just chill out, dude. Just chill out. You don't, it, not everybody has to behave and fit into your ideal of what human behavior should be. It's okay for other people to, you know, offend your sensibilities from time to time. That's an okay thing to happen. We're all different. We all have our own points of view. And, you know, you coming in with your drama because you don't like something is not, is A, it's not helping any kind of any it's not helping anything with the with the relationship with the person that you're having because now all you're doing is pissing them off because you're upset and now you're making them upset because you're you're trying to get them to change something that they don't think is a problem in the first place so that's number one and then number two i lost number two i forgot number two because i was too busy talking about one but i said number one and now i have to come up with a number two i think i had a number two in my head and now i'm just going to keep babbling until it pops into my head but uh we have enough bodies in here to go ahead and do a scan let's go ahead and slow down oh we got a water world over here okay um cool so maybe we'll go scan that let's see or uh, where was that 745 that's not bad at all Let's go ahead and finish scanning these here. Um, Alright, so I know I said you were going to make people mad. You're gonna, Oh, you're going to make them mad, and then you're also just going to cause the situation to become worse for no reason. Because you're not, you're not going to get what you want, uh, i.e. them changing their behavior because, you know, people are who they are and they're not going to change just because you think they should. Unless there's a really good reason for it, like they're an alcoholic and, you know, that's a different, that's a different thing. But, you know, for the most part, the things that people get all in a twist about aren't serious issues like drug use or alcoholism or, you know, these super self-destructive things. There's, we all get in a twist over these little things, these little personality quirks that people have. Or, you know, maybe they're, self, maybe they're just a selfish person. And that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. You know, the whole world doesn't revolve around you and it doesn't revolve around, you know making sure that just because making sure that the person that you're trying to interact with is going to interact with you the way you want to be interacted with like that's a little bit that's that's just as selfish as you know them not what am i trying to say i think i think you get what i'm trying to say there's selfishness on both sides when it comes to drama because a lot of times the drama is coming from a lack of met expectations right so you have a sorry let me get my speed back up uh the drama comes from a lack of met expectations. And the problem is, is that the person who wants the, the expectation to be met is expect is thinking that the person who's not meeting that expectation is just being selfish. Okay, maybe. But even, th even if they are being selfish, you're being just as selfish by introducing all kinds of drama and negativity because your expectations aren't being met. Right? So things aren't the way you want them to be, and how dare you not be how dare you not make it the way I want it to be? That's just as selfish as the as the uh, the actions of the person you're supposedly calling selfish. <laughs> but uh, most of us aren't self-aware enough to be able to stop and look and see that. We're too wrapped up in our own emotions and we're stuck in this thing of I don't I'm I don't like this. It's not the way I want it to be. Boo hoo hoo. Right? And <laughs> Like, it's so counterproductive. If we could all just chill out for two minutes, sit back and say, okay, this isn't the way I, I would like it to be, but this person's not going to change it, and am I, am I really going to am I really gonna um, waste all this time and effort? Oh, I, wait, I'm trying to figure out where I need to be. Uh, I think I need to be... I don't want to be right on the rings, because then the rings will stop me. Uh, let's see. Yep, that's a problem. Um, okay, I'll go like there to, I try, I try to go around the back side of the planet, but the rings are in the way. I didn't realize that this was going to be a ring planet. Hopefully this will work out. Normally I would go ahead and just head over to a planet, but I'm not sure. 
Let's see. We want to find something that's close that we can land on. That'll work. Yo! Okay. I thought we had uh, slowed down, but something happened there. All right, let's head over to this planet over here, and we will try to land. Uh, it's out of the blue zone. Oh. Well, I guess we're getting a nice little treat to uh, some ring travel. <laughs> that was totally by accident. I didn't expect that to. I didn't expect that to happen, but hey, it worked out. Um, just, I don't know, if you sit down and you think about all the drama in your life and all the drama that you've caused, especially if you're the kind of person who, you know, is, is, is like that, where you feel like, you know, somebody in your life is just not behaving the way that you wish they would, or they're not giving you the kind of attention that you wish they would, and you think that they're selfish because they don't give you that kind of attention, but you don't stop to think that, you know, maybe... Yes, yes, they're probably selfish, but at the same time, maybe they're just not capable of giving you the kind of attention that you want or giving you what, whatever it is that's whatever it is that you want from them. Maybe they're just not capable of giving it to you the way you want it. Maybe they can give you a version of it. Oops, we went way too fast. Let's try to flip around and see if we can do this. Uh, maybe they can give you a version or some portion of whatever it is that you want. But too many of us get so stuck on the ideal version of the way we would like things to be that we are not capable ex of accepting a, you know, a watered down version of whatever it is that you're looking for. And that's that's one of the biggest problems that we have. Um, I, I don't remember who said it. It's been said by several people, but the, uh, they said something to the effect of uh, you can have any dream that you want as long as you accept the idea that it's not going to be exactly the way that you want it to be. Right. And I think there is some truth to that. If you work hard enough, you can get some version of whatever whatever the whatever dream it is that you have. But realistically, it's probably not going to be exactly the way that you wish that it would be. It's going to be some kind of modified version that is, you know, a compromise between what you want and what the real world is capable of giving you. And the same thing is true with our relationships with people. Uh, you can, it doesn't matter how in love with somebody you are or how, how important the person is, their family member, friend, whatever it is, they're never going to behave exactly the way that you wish that they would, ever. 100%. End of story. See you later. Have a nice day. It's just, it's, it's just the way that it is. So the, the biggest thing that we need to learn as people is how to compromise. Compromise between, you know, I want this this way, you want it this way. Let's find somewhere in the middle that makes it so that each of us is getting at least something out of these interactions that we're having with each other. And then the drama can start slowly fading away. It's never going to go away completely, but we can start, we can start reducing a lot of it. Now, the problem is, is that people just don't want to compromise. I want it my way. End of story. Ugh. And unfortunately, it's never going to be that way. And that's just kind of the catch-22 of interacting, of interactions between people. You're going to always have the people who want it the way that they want it, and there's no compromise. And then you have all the drama that comes with that because they don't know how to set their own desires aside or modify them and let them become let it become something that isn't exactly the way they want it so that they can find at least a partial set of happiness rather than just being miserable all the time because they can't get exactly what they wanted but anyways i've rambled on enough about this topic it's time to go ahead and end this episode so hopefully you guys had lots of fun be sure to click that like button if you did so that the uh, youtube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible if you're not subscribed please consider doing so now Oh, there's some geysers over there. Very cool. Didn't even see those. Those weren't there a second ago. Okay. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you will be able to... Sh uh, holy crap. And you will be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button. Check out the list of options available there and decide if any of those are right for you. Uh, well, we might go check that out, that fiery one out in the next episode. <laughs> I, I know I'm trying to get through this exit and I just can't because that was, there's there's some cool stuff happening. Um, oh, that's a pretty view too. 
if <laughs> check out the options available over there and decide if any of those are right for you. If you're not interested in a continuing commitment, you can always click that thanks button. It's YouTube's form of a tip. Direct financial contributions are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this into a full-time gig, which is the dream. And obviously, I will accept a compromise if that's what it takes. <laughs> so again, thank you very much for your time. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight and are enjoying this journey. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.